For me, this is a really exciting opportunity to have so many of my paintings shown in one place. Many of these paintings have never been seen in public before, and I'm taking this opportunity to introduce myself. I may not look like it, but I am a very hard-working artist, and I've been doing this for over 40 years. I did start young. Ten years after this photograph was taken, I painted this in my attic studio. After I finished school, I entered the National College of Art and Design in Dublin. It was an end and also a beginning. It was an end in that I stopped painting and it was a beginning in that I became interested in performance and photography. It was very 1980s. I made many images trying to redefine my identity as a disabled person. It was no surprise when I picked up a paintbrush again 20 years ago that I began to look in the mirror. Even though I spent a long time in art college and even qualified as an art teacher, I never seemed to master the art of life drawing. And so when I turned to painting again, I decided to apply myself to the task because I understood it was something you can learn and there's something really magical about drawing from life. I particularly enjoy portraiture. But this is not something that I have exhibited much before until now. When I started painting again, I started very close to home. This is the field across the road from where I live. The title of this exhibition is called From Left Field and it has many meanings, including the meaning of something unexpected, unusual and strange. And I guess that is how I think about my relationship with painting. I also have a fondness for flooded fields, such as this one. This painting was exhibited, along with my self-portrait you saw earlier, in the Royal Hibernian Academy Annual Summer Exhibition. I adore colour, and mostly I'm fascinated by what I see every day, which is this field and a sky laden purple with rain. I'm fascinated how it changes from moment to moment. This is the same field at a different time of the day. I used to be a familiar sight painting around this area. And looking back on these images, including the paint, this painting is in the current exhibition. Looking back, I can see that although how I paint has changed, what I'm interested in has remained the same. This is a subsequent painting that I painted in the studio. It is the goose field next door to where I live. And what we see is the early morning train that shoots by at about 6.30 every morning. The hoot of its whistle often wakes me. This is the same field painted with cold wax. The field is covered in mist and I'm fascinated to see, even though how I paint it has changed. My interest remains constant. Even though I'm no longer painting on the spot, on plein air, I knew I needed to find a new way of working that would allow me to work from my home studio. I did flounder for a while, but then I was lucky to discover cold wax medium. I discovered it at the feet of the master of the medium, Rebecca Kroll. She came to Ireland with a number of her students from the United States in 2016. There was a last minute cancellation and I was lucky enough to get a place. 
I had known of her work because I'd seen it online and I'd also seen it in a gallery in Dublin. So this is cold wax medium with oil paint and peat ash and I mix it together to create what might be called a textured paint. It's a very messy business. This is a squeegee, which I use mostly to apply the paint. It's quite hard physical work mixing the paint together. It takes quite a bit of muscle. And I also like to work on very large pieces. This is three panels over two meters wide and one meter high. It was created for a specific commission but I often work on large pieces. It might take me well over a year to complete. In among the layers of, of paint is pure pigment, which needs to be pounded and polished into the paint. I even have a buffing machine for the job. And I also need a good bit of help. These panels weigh quite a lot. They're heavy and they're 18 millimetres thick. Well, that's just the surface, the panel. I also use a lot of paint. I use often tins of paint now rather than tubes, so it's an expensive business. This is the squeegee in action, and how much pressure is put on the squeegee depends on the desired effect. Using cold wax is exciting. It's delicate. It's absorbing and involved and totally different from working with a paintbrush. Sometimes it's necessary to use a buffing machine, as I did on this piece, but the results are always stunning. Here is how it begins. I start with a transparent layer of yellow. These are two large panels that are in this exhibition. The painting is called The Place Where Dragonflies Dance. I block in the major shapes and I am already excited. Over many layers, the image finally appears. Sometimes I scratch into the thick paint and other times I pour solvent which is laced with pigment or paint to create a pore layer. I might decide I've made a mistake and I scrape some of it off, but into the grooves that I've created, the color remains. I really love color. And this particular colour is almost as good as ice cream. Here the painting's beginning to develop and I fear I'm going to make a mess of it. This is a normal part of my process, but I know I need to move forward with the next step risking always losing the image. At this point, I think I decided I had too much paint on and I wanted to reduce it. So I poured solvent on it again to remove some of the paint and reveal more of the underneath. It's a process of back and forwards. It takes quite a long time, but eventually, and very slowly, I get to where I want to be. I love these really large panels, but sometimes it's just a little too much. And so for a little light relief, I go to the other extreme. I divide a page in four using masking tape. I mix a lot of paint. And then I spend my time creating these images. There are over 50 pieces like this in this exhibition. And the fun part comes with removing the masking tape. There's a lot of work in this exhibition and I really hope you enjoy it. From Left Field is my exhibition, an exhibition by Mary Duffy 
and it runs from June 17th until July 22nd at Kenmare Butcher Market Gallery. Thank you.